I want you and our listeners to know, the first to know, that we are in the final negotiations of an agreement between Dr. William Hildebrand, an OU Health Sciences researcher, and Pure MHC to identify novel targets for a therapeutic vaccine against COVID-19. We will give you more information as it becomes available. Secondly, we are also finalizing an agreement with another researcher to begin preclinical testing of another COVID-19 vaccine to help bring a vaccine to patients as quickly as possible. Thank you. Okay, I have one final question from a reporter in Tulsa. Dr. Sanders, I think this might be one for you. It is asking the question around what are novel targets for a coronavirus vaccine? What does that mean? So thank you for the question. Uh, the role of a vaccine is to provide a vaccine to individuals in the community who haven't been infected to prevent an infection. You've heard earlier that one of our first lines of defense in the body is your body's own immune system. Uh, Dr. Drevitz mentioned, for example, that stopping smoking now can help boost that. The vaccines that you're familiar with, childhood vaccines, flu vaccines, are a boost to your body's defenses when a new virus uh, is exposed to the body. So how do you help boost that immunity? You try to have your own immune system recognize parts of that virus as it enters the body and attack it. So that's what a novel target means. It's looking at things on this virus. Think of it as signs on the virus or however it makes the most sense. If you've seen pictures of it, it's very small. So that your body recognizes it and attacks it. We'll share more details going forward about how the vaccines work, but another way to look at the target is not only how you first identify this new virus, how it's different than flu or other viruses that individuals are exposed to, but then how the body responds. And that boost of the immune system uh, is not only recognizing the virus, but the immune system's response and probably won't go into further details on that, uh, but we've learned a lot. Uh, and leaders like Dr. Drevitz, uh, as we've learned from other viruses like HIV and AIDS, uh, and in our studies of cancer, we've really learned all the complexities of the immune system. So it's not just how your immune system recognizes it, but how it responds. So hopefully that helps.